Okay, uh, today question is going to be from Physics 2017, paper 1, question 17. It says um, a local radio station broadcasts a 100.9 MHz. What is the wavelength of the radio wave if they travel at a speed of 3 times 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second? Now, this has to do with um, sound and um, um, speed of sound. So, you need the first thing you need to remember is um, V is equal to what? F lambda where f is your frequency v is your speed of light and lambda it's your wavelength so the question says find the wavelength therefore lambda is going to be v over f so you just punch in your values your v it's um, 3 times 10 raised to power 8 and your frequency it's giving us some um, 100.9 remember this is in megahertz so you need to multiply by 10 raised to power 6 so you need to punch this with your calculator. So uh, we're going to do three exponential eight divided by hundred point nine exponential six. That to give us our final answer, which is um, two point nine seven. So the final answer is 2.97 meters. So our correct answer here is A. So uh, the next question says, um, Echo sounding equipment on warship receives sound pulses reflected from the seabed 0.06 seconds after they were sent out. If the speed of sound in seawater is 1,800 meters per second, what is the depth of the water under the ship? Now, all you need to do is to know how... Um, know how they calculate the depth of the sea using sound speed now i'm going to just give you a little illustration of that now this is your ship on the water now this is the water level this is the water now what they're doing do here is they send a sound and they allow the sound to come back the echo so they calculate the time at which it gets to the depth of the ship so that is how they get to understand the so distance speed is equal to now it's giving us two times distance over time that is how you now get the speed of sound so this is the formula you're supposed to apply here it's not just distance over time it's two times distance because they send the echo and they wait to receive it back because they said on a warship receives sound pulses reflected from the seabed so it must reflect back so that is why we are multiplying it by 2 so to get our distance we are going to do st is equal to 2 times d therefore d will be 2 times d is going to be um, s times t over 2 which is our speed is 1800 our time is um, 0 0.06 divided by 2. So 2 here is 1, 2 in 1800 is going to give us 900. So when you do 900 multiply by 0 0.06, 900 times 6 is going to give you, um, um, it's going to give you, f let's punch that in our calculator, 900 times 0 0.06 that's 54 so our answer is 54 meters so the correct answer is um, C okay the next question says okay so the next question says the diagram below shows three resistors in parallel and connected to a 12 volt um, supply now these are the um, resistors so it says what is the voltage in the six ohms resistor now i just want to build a foundation for you here now whenever you have resistors in parallel they are the same voltage same voltage flows through same voltage flows through them but if you have resistors in series, now different voltage flows through them. Different voltage 
flows through. Now, with this, you can now know that the answer to this question is 12 volts. That means 12 volts is passing through the 6 ohms, it's passing through the 12 ohms, it's also passing through the 3 ohms. The reason is because the three of them are at the same potential. Now, um, this is the potential. They are the same potential point. So, so the same voltage is flowing through them. So the correct answer here is 12 volts. But if they were connected in series, then it would have been different. So whenever you know about this, you don't need to solve the question. You just go straight to the answer. Now, the next question says, 1 kilowatt hour of energy costs K0.31. How much does it cost to run a 2 kilowatt heater for 3 hours? Now, from this question, it was established that 1 kilowatt hour, it's, um, it costs K0.31. Now, this means if we have 2 kilowatt hour, first of all, for three hours, it's going to be uh, in kilowatt hour. It's going to be two times three, which will give us six kilowatt hour. Now, if one kilowatt hour costs K zero point three one, six kilowatt kilowatt hour is going to give us um, that is um, six times zero point three one. Now, when you multiply this. Let's bring in our calculator. So it's going to be 6 times 0 0.31. It's going to give us 1.86. So our answer is K 1.86. So that's our final answer. And the correct answer is D. So um, we're going to be releasing more videos. So please, if this is very good for you and you have any question for us, drop it at the comment section. Please do not forget to hit the like button and don't forget to click the subscribe so that you can get more videos from us. Thank you and stay tuned.